everyone, it's Beth from Sweethearts and I have found us a gorgeous short haired model, Bethany Jade, great name by the way. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you four really cute, easy short hairstyles today, but during the video, but not on camera because that would just be weird, we are going to be changing tops, okay? Don't think that me and Bethany have suddenly turned into divas, it's because I'm going to be splitting this video up for me Instagram and Facebook, so let's get started. Okay guys, so the first style that I have chosen for you is gonna be the pull through braid, but on shorter hair, so I'm gonna tuck it up at the bottom. So I've given uh, Bethany's hair a really rough curl with the straightening iron, and um, you don't have to do that bit if you're short on time. And then I am gonna be using a little bit of the sexy hair, um, clay spray just to give Bethany's hair a bit of grip okay because when the hair's short you can find that little bits start popping out so you really want a good grip on the hair so I'll just spray a little bit of this through so I'm going to start by just popping in an elastic here okay but this bit's optional guys I am going to do just a teeny bit of back combing just to give a bit of volume from the front but you don't have to do this bit I'm also not going to make the style too neat, but if you did want it neat, you could use some um, dry wax spray or detangler spray, but I'm going to try and keep this style just a little bit messy. I'm just going to pop in a little elastic there, guys. And then just use my fingers along with that back comb to create a bit of a bump there, just to start the style. And then next, I'm just going to use this grip, guys. So it's got no teeth on it, so it's really good. So you can slide it in and out the style without messing anything up. So I'm just going to pop that ponytail out of my way. And then I'm going to take another section of hair. I, I quite like the thought of these sections going up so it looks a little bit Milwaukee rather than this way. Okay, so the first few sections, I'm going to try and take them up. just pop in another elastic there guys okay so we've got two so basically so I don't bore you you're going to be going all the way down the head putting in these little ponytails now if you're short on time don't make your sections as short as um, small as mine okay take bigger chunks of hair but I'm going to go fairly fine with my sections So last one, nape of the neck. I've tried not to be too neat with this, um, but you can go neat if you want to, like I said. So that one's in, okay? Just gonna release those other little ponytails down. Okay guys, so the way this works is, and I have done this on myself, so you definitely can do it. Okay, top ponytail goes into two. The next ponytail along comes through like that and then you're just going to use this and just pin that out of your way and then these two sections here are going to get joined into the next ponytail along so I'm going to just grab those three together and pop an elastic in all three and then I'm just going to release that hair back and you've done one stitch of the braid so what I want you to do then is just start to pull that braid out, okay, those side bits. So again, you can kind of make this neat, make it messy, whichever you prefer. And then we're gonna repeat the whole process again, okay? So again, guys, this top pony, divide it into two. Next ponytail comes up, pin that out your way. These two sections get added into this section here, okay? So just literally, nothing technical about it. Just grab all three together and put an elastic in. And then again, guys, just work that section of hair at the side and make it as big as you want. And then just repeat, that is it. So I'm just gonna keep repeating that process all the way till I get to the bottom. Give me a 
So as the hair is short, you are going to get little bits popping out. Now, some people like to keep it that way, but the OCD in me, just I just can't have it, even though I know it's supposed to be messy. So I am just going to get a little grip, little bobby pin, catch hold of the end, and then just push it around the side so it's all kind of messy neat again. Okay guys, nearly at the bottom now, so just do your best sort of pinning this hair out of your way, attaching it onto that bottom little elastic there. Just pulling out this last bit here. Okay, so with these last two little ponytails guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of like grab them together at the very end like that, just to gather them. And then I'm just gonna sort of like tuck that up. So I'm just getting a medium hair pin now, bobby pin, and just tucking that last little bit up. Again, you know, if you wanted to make this look a lot neater, you could. I'm going for a sort of almost like messy little bun at the end. So that is style one done. I'm gonna do a little spin for you now. Okay, so we are gonna do a really quick change and I will be back for style two. Okay guys, so the magic of editing, we have changed our outfits for the next video. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the twist braid, okay? But with it being on shorter hair, I'm definitely gonna be dividing the hair in two and doing one each side, so let's get going. So again, I am just using a little bit of that clay spray to help me with grip. I don't want the hair to be slippy. Um, so just spray a little bit through the hair. And then you're gonna start this style by just taking a slice of hair from the top, okay? So I've just divided a hair into two. Working with the right side first. So top section of hair, and I'm gonna divide that into two. Okay, so what you've gotta remember is the piece of hair that's nearest to the face, so this is the right hand section on this side, I'm gonna just twist towards the face, okay? So you twist it towards the face, and then you pass it over the top of the left section like that, okay? And that's your first stitch done. You're then gonna take a little section of hair from this side, add it in like that, you're also going to take a little section of hair from this side and add it into here. So I've added those together now. A little beep outside. Okay, so next thing we do is we twist towards the face and cross over the top like that. And it's created that little twist. Now, I don't want it to be a tight style, so as we go along, I am going to be just pulling at this braid a little bit just to loosen it off. So, we're going to repeat that process again. So, a little section of hair from this side, add it in. The same from the top. And then you're going to twist that section towards the face and pass it over. So what I want you to do guys is just keep repeating that process, okay? So a little bit of hair, both sides remember, it's not like a French braid or a Dutch braid, you have to add in from both sides and then make your crossover. Okay guys, so last two little sections now, make sure you keep a really good hold of these really short bits. I'm going to do just one more twist to the right, pass it over 
and then I'm going to pop in a little elastic at the bottom there. So again guys, a little bit more of my magic spray that I use a lot, the clay spray. And then I am just going to pull this out, just be careful because the hair is short. Be really careful when you're pulling it out because it's so easy just to sort of like get the hair popping out. So I'm just going to be really careful. So coming to the other side guys, I'm not going to show you the whole braid because it is the same process but I will show you the start and it is important that you watch this start bit so you get the twist bit right, okay? So again just put a little bit more spray through the hair. So I'm taking that same amount of hair that I took on the other side, just that slice of hair. So divide that into two again, okay? Now this side, it's the side closest to the face that you're twisting towards. So it's this left hand section and it goes towards the face okay because that's what gets you that nice little twist in the braid okay if you take it the other way it just doesn't look the same so towards the face pass it over the top of the other one and then you're just going to continue adding in sections from either side and doing that twist towards the face okay Okay guys, so that is style two finished. Let's do a little spin for you. So we're gonna go into style three now and you guessed it, another quick outfit change, but we'll back shortly, style three coming up. Okay, so this is style three. So I'm veering away from the sort of braided styles now and I'm gonna give you a really cute and easy updo for short hair. Okay guys, so this bit is optional. I'm gonna just put a little bit of back comb into Bethany's hair. I've already done the sides, so I've just flipped just a few times with the comb. So just a little bit, just to give a bit of lift because it's supposed to be more of like an updo style. Um, but if you wanted to go more casual, you wouldn't necessarily have to do this bit. Okay, so I've just smoothed out that back comb and now what I'm going to do is take a section of hair here but can you see how I've sectioned the hair off but I haven't come from the top because I don't want this bit to be disturbed. So I'm going to be putting in four low ponytails, okay? So we're not left with much hair at the bottom, but what I'm gonna do is a bit of clay spray again, and I'm gonna do a little teeny braid. Pop an elastic in the bottom. Now, really carefully, what I'd like you to do is pull this braid out, but because it's very, very short, be careful how you're pulling. Now, I don't want the style to look too perfect, so don't worry if a little bit of hair comes out and just pull on those edges to try and make that as fat as you can. And now just repeat this on the other three little ponies. So all I'm going to do now is sort of just grab hold of these little buns, little braids, sorry, and turn them into little messy buns. So keep your grip closed, catch hold of that hair, and then just come back in on yourself to pin it. So I think this style would look really cute if you were like a wedding guest or a bridesmaid. So I am using the ultimate in hair accessories, Pink Pewter. Um, we'll definitely put the link in for you, but I use these a lot. And the reason I love them is it's on Velcro. So really easy to get in. So all you'll do is place it where you want it to go and then just sort of almost move it so that the Velcro sticks to the hair like that. So this is our style three. I think this, like I said before, I think it would look so cute for a wedding. So I'm just gonna do a little spin for you. Mind, 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 
Okay, so me and Bethany are on the home straight now, so hopefully you're still with us. Style Fork coming up, quick costume change, and we'll be back. Okay guys, so this is now style four. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments of which style you prefer and the outfit. You can comment on that as well, as long as you're nice. You've gotta be nice about the comments. So let's get cracking with this last style. So I think you're gonna absolutely love this last style because technically it's so easy to do. So I'm just taking a little section of hair. I've decided not to go up this time with my sections. I've come sort of this way sort of horizontally but you can decide you can go up if you want to so you'll just pop a little elastic in that top piece of hair and then I've decided with Bethany I'm just going to give her a tiny bit of volume by just holding the elastic and pulling against that elastic with my other hand and then all you're going to do is take a really small slice of hair still got a little bit of back comb and product in from the last style so bear with and do the same on the other side, take a small section of hair. And then these two sections, don't add in this underneath bit here, just join those two sections together and put an elastic in. And then just use your fingers to create a bit of a bump there, right where the elastic is. Now you're gonna do the same again, so small section of hair same on the other side and join them together and again just join those together and pop an elastic in so i want you to just keep repeating this all the way to the bottom and i'll show you how to sort of like finish the style off try not to take too big a sections okay Okay guys, so last little slice is going in now, just taking from this side and from the other. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck this little bit of hair underneath and pin it. Okay, so last style done. Please leave a comment and tell me which one you prefer. I'm gonna do a little spin for you now. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Bethany's Instagram, which is bethanyjade underscore, and my Instagram where I post daily pictures, and I will do another video for you very soon. Bye.